In the world of the Wheel of Time, 3,000 years before the start of the story, during the Age of Legends, men and women who could wield the One Power were called Aes Sedai. This was the symbol of the Aes Sedai. The term Aes Sedai, also sometimes pronounced Aes Sedai or Aes Sedai, means servant or servants of all in the Old Tongue. The term Aes Sedai is both singular and plural. During the Age of Legends, these servants of all were considered to be the most powerful and important people in the world. They dedicated their lives and their power to the service of others and kept people alive for hundreds of years and helped the world maintain peace and prosperity. In the current age, called the Third Age, 3,000 years since the end of the Age of Legends, only women are Aes Sedai because the Dark One tainted the male half of the True Source. This tainting of Sidene, the male half, led to the Time of Madness and the breaking of the world, which was caused by male channelers. The Eye of the World Glossary states, Since the time of madness, all surviving Aes Sedai are women, widely distrusted and feared, even hated. They are blamed by many for the breaking of the world, and are generally thought to meddle in the affairs of nations. At the same time, few rulers will be without an Aes Sedai advisor, even in lands where the existence of such a connection must be kept secret. Used as an honorific, for example, Moraine Sedai, or as a high honorific, Moraine Aes Sedai. The Aes Sedai of the Third Age are trained to channel Sidar, the female half of the True Source, and to weave the Five Powers. They're trained in the White Tower, which is located near the center of a large city called Tarvalon or Tarvalon. The city of Tarvalon sits on an island by the same name. The island is situated on the river Arenin. Even though Tarvalon is near the countries of Andor and Kyrian, the region of Tarvalon is not part of any major country, but is instead its own city-state. The island of Tarvalon is connected to the mainland via large bridges on all sides. It is also a major location for river trading, with large harbors on the north and south sides. Some say it is difficult for men to find North Harbor. Here's our first official look at a scene from the White Tower and the city of Tarvalon in the Wheel of Time TV show on Amazon Prime. To the southwest lies a large looming mountain called Dragon Mount. This is the place where Luz Theron Telamon, the leader of the Aes Sedai during the Age of Legends, and the infamous Dragon of Legend, died after sealing the Dark One's prison and bringing on the breaking of the world. This monument is a constant reminder to the Aes Sedai of the Third Age that men who can channel the One Power are dangerous and should be hunted down and gentled. You can learn more about the two halves of the True Source and gentling in my recent videos about Sidene and Sidar. Initiates of the White Tower are called novices. After many years of study and learning, if they're found capable and pass the proper tests, some novices are graduated to become accepted, and they are given a great serpent ring. After many more years of study and through another series of tests, some few accepted, quote, earn the shawl, and are raised to become full Aes Sedai. These Aes Sedai swear special oaths, and they then choose to join one of the seven factions in the White Tower, called Ajahs. The seven Ajahs are blue, green, yellow, red, white, gray, and brown. There are rumors that there might be an eighth Aja, dedicated to serving the Dark One, called the Black Aja, but these rumors are unsubstantiated. The symbol of the Aes Sedai in the Third Age is the left half of the ancient symbol, and is called the Flame of Tarvalin. The Tarvalin flag is made of the Flame of Tarvalin and a swirl of the colors of the seven Ajas. The shawl that is given to an Aes Sedai contains the Flame of Tarvalin and is made of the color of their Aja. Aes Sedai can be recognized by their shawls, or they can be recognized by their ageless face, or the Great Serpent Ring. The leader of the Aes Sedai is called the Amarlin Seat, and she sits on a seat or throne that goes by the same name. The Amarlin Seat is considered to be of all Ajas and none. She wears a stole striped with all seven of the Aja colors. She is the leader of the Aes Sedai, the Watcher of the Seals, the Flame of Tarvalin, and she is considered to be the most powerful person in the world. It is said that even kings or queens who hate Aes Sedai would not ignore a summons from the Amarlin Seat. Her number two is called the Keeper of the Chronicles. The Amarlin Seat in the present storyline is Swan Sanche. The Keeper of the Chronicles is Liane or Liana Sharif. Swan Sanche is played by Sophie Okonedo in the Wheel of Time TV show on Amazon Prime. Liane is played by Jennifer Chiang Garcia in the Wheel of Time TV show on Amazon Prime. 
There is much more to learn about Aes Sedai and their oaths, as well as the responsibilities of the different Ajahs and the nuances of the White Tower training and politics, but I'll save those details for my Watt 201 series after the first season of the Wheel of Time show has been released. Remember, this Watt 101 series is meant for new fans of the show and books, so please keep major plot-related spoilers out of the comments. Thank you for liking and subscribing. As always, for more Watt 101 content and other spoiler-free Wheel of Time videos, please consider subscribing and check out the related video here and the Watt 101 playlist here. All related topics are listed in the video description.